Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. Y'all, I'm so excited. First of all, when No Man Cosmetics releases their palettes, I never have my video ready. So this is gonna be a first, and I am really excited because this palette, I Let's just get into it. This is the Royal Europe palette and Nomad was like, we have come to play with the girls with this one, okay? Let me just get past this intro. I'm gonna be doing some looks and some swatches so you can see what this palette is all about and give you the launch information. So if that sounds good to you, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you wanna hang out with somebody that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So my love for Nomad Cosmetics began with the Iceland Fire and Ice palette. That's where it all started. And my first palette by the brand. And eventually Nomad Cosmetics did reach out and asked me to be on their PR list. Now, if you have been watching my channel, you will know that some palettes with Nomad are hits and... Hey, Marky, how was your day? Good. That is so awesome. Can I change my bus to 226? I cannot change your bus to 226. Mm-mm. Nope. No mm -mm. Nope. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna keep that's a whole nother conversation for another day. Anyway. Do you have chocolate? Yeah. Now if you've been watching my channel, some nomad cosmetic stories speak to me more than others, and certain formulas speak to me more than others as far as how they do their shimmers. But this one, y'all. This one, this one, all of it speaking to me, all of it, all of it. And I'm really excited. So let me give you some information about the palette and the launch. We're gonna do the swatch because I haven't swatched it yet. All right, so when you open the palette, we have the inauguration of the newest Nomad palette by command of the royal family. The Earl Marshall is directed to invite you, our special community member, to be present at the reveal of the most recent launch in the Nomad Cosmetics Destination Gallery on this day in the year 2023. Yes. And I'm just reading off the little card here. And on the back, it says, You are royalty. Be inspired by our new Royal Europe palette to create illustrious looks as you imagine a life full of glittering jewels, imperial balls, and palatial estates. I just can't. So this is an intense color and chrome palette. Y'all, when I saw the word chrome, chrome, I was like, no man's tired of sitting back. So the destination says, from Versailles to Buckingham, a collection of royal palaces and castles span across Europe, each full of family jewels, palatial rooms, and heirlooms of bygone eras. The color story is jewels and gems fit for a royal queen. Collection of 10 luxurious mats in opulent jewel tones of amber, emerald, sapphire, amethyst, and ruby, highlighted by five dazzling new multi-chromes that add a spectacular ornate touch. So as with all of Nomad's palettes, they do support a cause. And it says, we are proud to support UNESCO World Heritage Center that protects and preserves precious heritage sites around the world. Mm. All right, this palette has a 12 month shelf life. It is cruelty free and vegan. Aren't y'all tired of me talking? Let's look at this palette, y'all. Now, please go ahead and tell me y'all were expecting this from Nomad. Go ahead and tell me because I wasn't. I sure didn't. Look at these beautiful jewel tones and then these multi-chromes on the bottom. I was flabbergasted when I saw this. It is just very different for Nomad. I love the layout of this palette. I love the fact that you have these multi-chromes in a palette like this. I am very, very thrilled. And I didn't even show you the outside. Let me look at the outside and it's textured. It's like ornate. I just think this is incredible 
for Nomad. I'm so sorry, I really do. Actually, I don't know why I said I'm sorry, because I'm not. This palette is gonna launch on Tuesday, March 28th, around 12.01 a.m. EST. I do not currently have the price. We're gonna go ahead and get into these swatches and I didn't even swatch the whole story out. I'm just gonna swatch it right now because I'm very, very excited. I have not done this yet. Starting with the first row, we have Sean Braun Palace, Willano Palace, Palace of Versailles, Buckingham Palace, and Penna Palace. And you can see the embossings, which is something signature that Nomad always does with their pans. And there's the first row. Second row, we have Neptune Fountain, King's Room, Hall of Mirrors, The Ballroom, and Great Hall. So there are the mats in the palette. And now y'all, we about to get into the chromes. For the chromes, we have Imperial Crown, Royal Orb, Blue de France, St. Edward's Crown, and Royal Treasure. Now I'm gonna swatch each one of these twice. Mm -hmm. Here is Imperial Crown, Royal Orb. Look, go ahead, no man. Y'all better go ahead. Here's Blue de France. St. Edward's Crown. and royal treasure look at that they did a nice job let me show y'all the whole palette then i'm gonna show august because he wants to see it this is just this is just well done i'm sorry and i've done two looks so i'm, I'm kind of speaking ahead but this is just beautifully done couldn't pick up i don't know if i could think of a better jewel toned palette this is this is awesome let me know what you think about the swatches. Am I exaggerating? <coughs> Let me know what you think. <coughs> All right, y'all. I know I'm being dramatic. Let me know what you think about this color story, but I think this is truly a first for Nomad Cosmetics to come out with something like this. And I am just very excited for you all to see the looks. Say hi to August, y'all. August, you say hi to. I just, I don't even know what to say. Let's just get into the looks then, since I don't know what to say. We're gonna do three looks and I'll be back to let you know what I think at the end. Y'all, look at this fresh hair. Okay. Now I knew I was getting this palette, but <laughs> I right now have not swatched anything. I'm just letting y'all know, that's how my first look always goes. I'm taking it back. A chrome palette? Now y'all know I be talking about Nomad and their shimmers because <laughs> I love Nomad like the mats, but the shimmers is what knocks them down in my formula ranking. Let's just do something. <laughs> I'm really excited. So I'm wearing a lot of denim today and I, I didn't want to be too matchy matchy, but I'm about to say who cares. I'm going to go into Hall of Mirrors. I am using this Dose of Colors uh, taper brush on the outer corner. Nomad, y'all. Okay, I'm speaking too soon. Hold on, let's just go ahead, do our regular thing first before we say anything. You know how some people, as soon as they try something, they be like, oh, oh my gosh. Like, no, let's give it some time. Let's give it some time. I really need August to come on. See, this is the time in the morning where August will be like, you're really rushing me. And it's like, no, you're just not taking care of your business, honey. Okay. I do like this. Look at this. And we'll use another blue to kind of blend this out. I just want to save some space for the chrome. Blue de France. This is pretty, right? Okay, I'm being one of those people now, but it is pretty. He's about to come in here with his little grumpa grump self, grumpa lump. Here he goes, let's see. Here he comes. Oh, you all right? What's wrong? You wanna say hi to the fam? No, all I wanna do is go sleep. You know what, I feel you on that. I feel you. It's Friday though, isn't that good? Yeah, I just to be the I don't weekend. care. Well, you know what, you don't really have long. You don't have long to wait. 
All right, that's that's where we are. And then I want to go into go brush your teeth. Uh, Palace of Versailles, right here. Let's just see what happens if we just dip into that. I'm just taking like the little end part of the brush, just to kind of soften this here. So, you know, I don't believe in harsh lines. I believe in a gradient. Okay, I know this is not like completely done. Hello. What time is it? What's your phone say? Ooh, 707. We don't have time to be playing around. You you have 40 minutes. I my help on August understand. Just cuz my students come in at 7:40 doesn't mean I want to walk in at 7:40. Matter of fact, I'm supposed to be there by 7:25 and we're usually leaving the house at 7:25. Does it look like 25 to you? It's 7:08. Okay. It, you'll excuse me. All right, let us go and decide um, what type of chrome. Now, I did say Blue de France. Now, now, here's the deal. Have I seen this before? Yes. Have I seen it before from Nomad? Absolutely not. Or we have a Royal Orb. Royal Orb is pretty. Let's just see which one we want to do. I would like to either do and then Imperial Crown, which is this one. Look at that gold. Hmm, what a predicament. You know, I was gonna go the matchy matchy route, but since I do have on all this blue, I'm thinking the gold Imperial Crown. Let's do it on a finger to see what's happening here. Oh, this is pretty. Well, you know what? We might do blue defaults. We might do that too, shoot. Cause I'm feeling real chromey right now. Let's bring it up. I wanna cover up the blue just a taste. Mm. And that's pretty. And that's without, you know, glitter glue or anything like that. I mean, sometimes uh, Nomad's shimmers don't have the most shine. Well, depending on which formula they use. But look at this. And this is adhering. I'm wearing the MAC Paint Pot. Probably gonna go on the record right now and say, when I saw this, I was like, this is the most exciting palette Nomad has come out with, in my opinion, since Haunted Europe. Oh, Royal Europe, Haunted Europe. Okay, that's really pretty. Let's go into Blue de France. Let's see if we can see that. We'll see. Now, I like the blend of this look, but y'all know this blue. The blue is pretty, uh, the transition blue, Hall of Mirrors, but it's just not my favorite thing. Can y'all see it? Uh, look at the shit. Look at that. Gorgeous. Hmm. All right, let me back up so we can see what this really looks like for real. Squeeze it from the bottom. Remember I told you? When I did. Okay. There you go. It, it's just, I don't know, practice. All right, I'm just blending, 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 blending. Definitely into this one. This brush I'm using by Sydney Grace right now, I'm just using to kind of tone this down a little bit and blend out Hall of Mirrors, which is the transition shade. Just blow it out just a little bit. Taking a flat <laughs> brush by MSQ, flat shader. I'm gonna go into a Neptune Fountain, just the brown for the lower lash line. I don't want to do a blue under eye. Yeah. Yeah, I told you I brought it down. I brought it down. You can't because it stayed out all night. Meat and chicken. No, no, it was. In, it didn't stay out. It I did. Closed the box. You closed it, but it, you, it didn't get refrigerated. So if it doesn't get refrigerated, I wouldn't chance it. You could get sick. Taking my BK Beauty 207 brush just to soften this a little bit. Hurry up. I am. Because it is 7.15. Okay. Going back into my shader from MSQ into Royal Orb for our inner corner. Holy Lloyd's, like why not? Only because this is going together, because you know, I don't feel the need that I need to use every shade in each look, but this is 
really going together nicely so let's just put it here and kind of bring it oh I'm just kind of using it to actually outline the little tear duct area right here I'm here for this look and I'm gonna just put on my mascara and liner and let you know what I think but I think you already know okay this is the finished look for the day I turn the exposure down a little bit. Hopefully all of these colors are translating along with their shifts. I put on a Victoria Beckham liner in the shade Coco, which is brown, and my Maybelline Falsies mascara. I might do a different lip, but right now I'm just wearing the Merit lip oil. 10 out of 10 as far as performance. I'm <laughs> stuttering. I don't even know what to say. I'm just really, really surprised. With this palette, I don't know what I was expecting. Let's get into another look. All right, you guys, we are gonna get into look number two with the Royal Europe palette, and I'm very excited about this one. Had a chance to kind of look over the palette this time. Gonna start with the ballroom. I'm gonna be using a What's Up Beauty R104 brush. It's a fluffy tapered blender, and we're gonna get into this one. I'm just starting this one on the outer corner. I'm taking a BK Beauty A504 brush just to kind of blend this right here. It is really, really, really pigmented. It's very pretty shade. I wanna go into Royal Orb for the multi-chrome. I just think these two colors are gonna be really beautiful together. I'm actually putting a little bit on the brush to kind of bring it up. It'll feel like right here I need to blend out. Then I'm gonna go into Buckingham Palace with the same brush on the outer corner here. So I know y'all can see it needs to be blended. So that's what's next. All right, this is a brush from MSQ. This actually might not be as dense as I want it to be, but we'll see. This eye, I like this eye right here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I can't get this one like perfect the way I want it, but I think it's pretty good. I think part of it is like the shifts in Royal Orb. And I think this looks good. All right, I'm gonna take this Bristles Beauty EO5 PS brush and let's see. I think I'm gonna go back into the ballroom with the pencil brush. I'm just gonna sweep it underneath the lower lash line. I don't wanna bring it down too much. So just really, really light lower lash line. For the inner corner highlight, I'm gonna go into Imperial Crown with the same brush. Yes, I really like this. I think I like this one better than the first one. So that's look number two. Mm-hmm, yes. I'm going to get a liner and mascara and I will be back to talk about this one. Y'all, okay. Look number two, I can, okay? Like, I'm so happy right now. So to finish this look, I used the Victoria Beckham Satin Liner in the shade Bordeaux, and of course, the Maybelline Surreal Falsies Mascara. It's all I'm wearing these days, and I love this. Love, love, love it. We're gonna do another one. I don't... I'm going to dinner with my sister, and now I'm like, damn, I wish I had done this look for the third one. Now I gotta figure that out, because this looks good, and I gotta take a shower. 
that's sad that is so sad but yes y'all let's get into another one all right y'all i'm excited we're actually gonna do two more looks because i'm gonna do one on each eye because i am not going anywhere it is rainy and dreary and a hot mess let me make sure my mic is on yes all right so the look i'm gonna do first this was the first look I wanted to do. It was like my comfort look and um, I ended up going with the blue, but I'm going to do my comfort look y'all going into Sean Braun palace and I'm taking a BK beauty 202 brush for the transition. August is actually supposed to have a birthday party today, but his asthma is not doing what we needed to do and it's laser tag. So it's not till four o'clock, but I'm leaning against no because spring break is coming up. I need him to be good for that. So we don't need any asthma issues. Yes, that is my perfect transition shade. These do have a little bit of a uh, kick up in your eyeshadow pan. So just tap your brush off. Next going into Neptune Fountain, same brush. I'm really just putting it on the tip of the brush because this is a really pigmented brown. So I don't want to put on too much and I want to merge it on the outer corner with our transition shade. I'm really trying to have this video up till the palette is going to be revealed probably in, let's see, probably about a half hour. So my video is going to be up today and I'm really excited as well as purchase or pass that's still coming. So I'm just making sure this has a nice blend. Both shades are going together well. And I love that Imperial crown is what I'm going to use on the lid. Yeah, this was the first look I was going to go for because I was like, OK, all three. Well, you know, you can go column by column with this palette, with the looks, which I love. And that makes it so easy for someone new to just go down the column and create your look like that. You have pretty much a transition, a smoke shade and then a, a lid shade. So I'm sure that was purposely done and I think it was a great idea. Hmm, probably should have said that in my uh, final thoughts because I already filmed those. <laughs> ah, I filmed my final thoughts off the first two looks because that second look, that last look, oh my gosh. And when I wore it out, it just looked so fantastic. I was like, forget taking a shower and taking this makeup off and putting something else on. I'm wearing that look. It was fantastic. Oh, I love this. I'm just going back into Neptune Fountain just to blend the shimmer with it. And that's pretty much the look there. Like when I first saw the palette, this is what I was like, I'm going to do that first. But I was like, that's just t too uh, predictable. I think uh, Royal Orb would have gone nicely. This is giving me kind of like a almost like a Mel Gemini slash rust vibe. So that's kind of probably why I gravitated towards it. I have an elf shader brush and I'm going back into our transition shade of Sean Braun Palace under the lower lash line. And then I'll go back into Neptune Fountain for the outer portion of the lower lash line just to kind of connect that smokiness and let us i'm um, taking a pencil brush from ink show and for the inner corner hoi loint, let's go into royal treasure and that's gonna be my lid shade for the final look and here's look number three let me know what you think about that because i really like that and I'll uh, finish it up at the end. Let's get into the last and final look, y'all. Gonna be using a lot of the same brushes, so I'm not gonna have that little pop in. Going in with the BK Beauty again into Penna Palace. Put some of this on the inner corner as well. Going into Great Hall, same brush. I'm going to focus this more so on the outer corner. Can we use St. Edward's crown? Because we need to use that too. Yeah, yeah, we do. We want to. Now we need to. We want to. Uh, I'm going to start with Great Treasure though on the inner corner. I didn't really need to put that transition on the inner corner. I forgot about St. Edward's crown. I don't think we used that. 
Maybe we did. I don't, I really don't know. And if you kept this one all the way across, you get a beautiful kind of monochromatic look with a nice little shift right there. It's kind of like a gold, a gold shift. We're going to go into St. Edward's crown. Oh yeah. Gotta use this. This is gorgeous. Just merging both of them together, focusing the St. Edward's crown more towards the outer part of the lid. But these go together beautifully. I mean, you could completely mix them if you wanted to. I'm just bringing it up into the crease a little bit and making sure they go together well. And they really do. And I just wanna say the layout of this palette is really nice because you've got your neutral column here, then you've got your blue green section and then your fuchsia and purple section. I just think that's, I, I love how Nomad did that, but I digress. Going back in with the smudger brush, let's actually go into Buckingham Palace, which is a purple for the lower lash line. I really can't wait to see what looks uh, people are gonna come up with for this palette because I mean there's just a lot that can be done and then for the inner corner highlight taking my pencil brush and I actually want to see let's let's put a blue de France blue de France on the inner corner let's just see what that'll look like it's not let's see actually ooh, no I think I like that what might even be cute is if you took like Palace of Versailles and then put the chrome shade over top. Cause you know, these are like transformative shades and I think that's another option that you could uh, do. Yeah, mm, it's a little deep. Let's, let's take Palace of Versailles, let's see. It's a little bit deep for an inner corner highlight, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Blend it in a little bit. Yeah, if you don't like a deep inner corner highlight, you might not want to pick that shade, but <laughs> I kind of like this. All right, so here are the third and fourth look looks. So I'm gonna put on my liner and mascara and I'll be back to let you know what I think about these. All right, here are the finished looks. And I took a matte navy liner from Charlotte Tilbury on the waterline of both eyes. And then I have on the Maybelline uh, Surreal Falsies Mascara. I really like both of these looks as well. And I think by doing four looks, you can see that you can do a lot with this palette. And I am just, I, I'm, I really like it. I like this palette a lot. As I said, I did wear the palette to work. I wore it out and then I did these two looks just now. So I think I can say that this is a good one, y'all. This is a really nice palette. So I'll be back with my overall thoughts. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed the looks and the inspo, whether you're interested in the palette or not, hopefully it gave you some uh, look inspiration. And if you were curious about what Nomad was coming out with, Hopefully this was a good demo so you could really see whether or not it's something that you really want. So again, this palette is gonna launch on March 28th at 12.01 a.m. EST. I forgot to mention it earlier, but I do have a code, it's Frizz Face. It's not affiliated, so I don't get anything from it, but it will save you 10%. And lots of creators out there have codes, so definitely use one. Pricing information is gonna be in this video somewhere or in the description box as soon as I find out what the price of the palette is. I am just really thrilled for Nomad and I commend them for coming out with, I don't know, this is just really exciting to me and I'm really happy for them. So thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one today. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I'll see y'all really soon. Bye.